whatever. Have you ever wondered why some works of art attract you and others don't? Maybe you like the colors the artist used, or the image is something you find interesting. In some art, the skill of the artist is quite apparent. In other art, it may be hard to tell if the artist had any skill at all. Why is there such a range of art, and what does it all mean? Finding the meaning in some art can be a challenge, but even art that seems straightforward can sometimes have hidden meaning. Professor Dr. Rene Sandel has come up with an approach that is very effective at decoding the meaning in a work of art, studying the balance between how form. Theme and context work together is the key. No matter the genre or style, an artwork generally has a physical form. Some of the elements that make up this form include things like line, shape, color, and so on. There are other things like time, technique, and materials that also make up this form of the artwork. Of course, these elements need to be arranged in some way to express an idea or experience. How these elements are arranged is called composition. Elizabeth Murray manipulates these elements and principles to create paintings that are both beautiful and humorous. She often uses bright colors, quirky lines, and funky shapes in her work. She even plays with the space in her paintings. By not using the traditional rectangular canvas, there is a wide variety of elements in her paintings, which makes our eye move around the composition. Yet she also creates a sense of unity through color and her drawing style. Studying how she gets all these elements to work together improves our understanding of what makes her painting so visually rich and delightful. An artwork's theme is the big idea that the artist wants to express. In this painting by Dutch artist Adrian van Utrecht, the artist uses objects as symbols for different aspects of life. Nearly everything in this painting has a symbolic meaning. Although he probably had fun and is obviously skillful, simply depicting those objects is not why the artist painted them. The big idea or theme the artist wanted to express was about life and being human. The subject matter is the objects that have been assembled, which is called a still life. Without understanding the artist's theme, this is just a painting of a bunch of stuff. The third piece of the puzzle is context. Context is the time and the cultural circumstances when the art was made. Elizabeth Murray's painting wouldn't have been accepted in the 17th century. We, living in the 21st century. Wouldn't know what the symbols in the still life painting meant without the historians to help us. Understanding the artist's point of view is necessary to really understand the artwork. An African American artist currently living in Chicago, Carrie James Marshall's work has been heavily influenced by the lack of black faces in Western art history. Born in 1955. He has seen the civil rights movement, the riots in Los Angeles, and many obstacles people of color face in the United States. Marshall's work often uses traditional Western composition, but replaces the figures with figures from Black culture. He uses a particularly dark black for the skin colors to emphasize their presence. His work doesn't pull any punches, and without knowing the historical and cultural context in which he makes his art. It may be hard to see that his work is not only about black culture, but also about its exclusion from mainstream history. Art's purpose, whether traditional or contemporary, is to communicate. Sometimes the artist is a gentle guide. Other times we are faced with work that challenges our expectations and assumptions. In either case, by engaging with art beyond our first impressions. We can reap fulfilling rewards by researching and analyzing the form, theme, and context of the artwork. We have a better chance at discovering just what those rewards may be.